Hi everyone, I'm Tiru from the Meteorological Service Singapore. Now, I go outdoors a lot, and like many of us, I frequently pay attention to the weather forecast. The 24-hour weather forecast on the MyNV app informs us of the likely weather for the day. You know, often you will see a forecast of thundery showers in the afternoon, sometimes extending to the evenings. Now, why is that the case? Join us on this episode of Let's Gas MSS where we learn why do thundery showers occur most frequently in the afternoon. So with me here today is Elaine. Hi Hiro. Hey Elaine. So I understand the weather in Singapore generally has a day-to-day -day cycle with thundery showers happening in the afternoons to the evenings. Is that right? That's generally true. Historical data tells us that precipitation is more likely in the afternoon. Having said this, as we know, showers can occur at any time of the day. For example, Sumatra squalls tend to occur in the pre-dawn hours or early morning. These are lines of thunderstorms that form to the west of Singapore overnight and travel eastwards. In addition, convergence of winds, monsoon surges or the presence of large-scale weather systems can bring precipitation to Singapore at any time of the day. I see. So let's focus on a typical spell of afternoon thundery showers in Singapore. I'm sure our viewers commonly find that um, it's so hot in the morning and then suddenly there's a heavy rain in the afternoon. It seems like quite a dramatic change of events. Yes, it does, but it's related. During the day, the sun heats up the land surface. Urban materials such as concrete and tarmac conduct heat well, and this enables warm air to rise via convection. In addition, converging winds such as that of a sea breeze and the prevailing wind can aid this rising process. As warm, humid air rises, the water vapour condenses to form clouds. At around midday, we tend to observe numerous cumulus clouds which are cotton shaped. Temperatures on a typical warm afternoon in Singapore are around 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. As heating continues and convection intensifies, the cumulus clouds grow vertically, forming thick cauliflower shaped towers, which can produce showers. The towering cumulus clouds will continue to grow vigorously and may reach a point where the top is glaciated, it spreads out at around 15 kilometers in height. This is a cuminolimbus cloud, which has a distinctive anvil shaped top and can produce lightning. It is important to take appropriate precautions when lightning risk is forecast. Oh, absolutely. I find that it is impressive how this occurs in such a short span of time. You know, sometimes during these thundery showers, I can feel like cooling gusts of wind. Is that normal? Yes, indeed. A strong downward moving air current, known as a downdraft, can emerge from the cuminolimbus cloud, suppressing the convection current and preventing further growth. Downdrafts hit the ground and spread out radially, and the leading edge of this cold, dense air is known as a gust front. They can be quite damaging too. On rare occasions, trees can be uprooted. The cool downdrafts deplete the warm air source. Therefore, such thunderstorms are unlikely to last long, with heavy showers giving way to light, steady rain. Occasionally, we may encounter particularly intense ones that extend into the evening. In fact, such thunderstorms are more common in the inter-monsoon period, as surface winds are weaker and variable in direction, enabling convergence and convection to proceed more efficiently. Thank you, Elaine. I'm sure our viewers have learned a lot today. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for those cumulus clouds. <laughs> you can get the latest weather updates, including heavy rain warnings, from the MyNV app and our MSS website. Thank you all for joining us today, and we'll see you again on Let's Ask MSS.